Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 2239, find the closest number to zero. Before I start with the video guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then I request you to please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started now. So basically guys, the problem statement says that we have got an integer number array. So obviously we can have negative and positive integers and we want to find out the number which has the closest value to zero in the nums and if there are multiple numbers that have the same distance from zero then we have to return the number with the largest value. So uh, you can see here guys that we have got a problem statement like this and the distance these numbers from zero we basically just find out the absolute value of that number and then subtract zero from it and then we get the distance right. So here after comparing all the distances we can see that one has the least amount of distance so one becomes a winner and that's our output okay. In another example, it is really interesting. You can see that we have got 2 minus 1 and 1. So obviously the distance of 2 from 0 is 2. But for both minus 1 and 1, the distance from... But because 1 is greater than minus 1, that output is 1 and not minus 1. Okay. The constraints are pretty straightforward as well. Uh, n value ranges from 1 to 1000. That means the total num number of integers could be 1000. And uh, the integer value could be from minus 10 to the power 5 to plus 10 to the power 5. And uh, I hope guys the problem statement it was simple enough to understand and it is clear to you. So let's jump. So the first thing which we are going to do guys we have to declare two variables. One is going to be the minimum distance. So I'm gonna create a minimum distance variable and initialize it to integer dot max value uh, initializing it to the max value of integers uh, because guys when we will start comparing the distance of integer values uh, this minimum value eventually will become equal to the minimum distance uh, so this is for comparison the next is the index okay so obviously guys uh, we want to find out the minimum distance but we want to return that number which has the minimum distance and the index of that number in the nums array is going to be present in the index variable so by default i'm gonna make uh, that the index is minus one so right now no number has yet been identified as having the least amount of distance so let's get started with our loop now so using this loop we are going to identify the the closest number so for i0 to i less than nums dot length i plus plus now the first thing which we have to do is we have to find out the distance so dist becomes equals to we have to find out the absolute value of the number so nums i absolute value uh, minus uh, minus zero so that becomes your distance okay distance of number i now if this distance is uh, is lesser than the minimum distance then basically it means that we have found a closer number uh, than the previous one so then the minimum distance will become equals to the distance and the index of the number uh, the closest number becomes equals to i else now in the else if condition guys we have to find out that if this distance of the ith number is equal equals to the previously calculated minimum distance value it means that now we have to actually compare the numbers itself. So if the number uh, of the uh, if the previously uh, decided closest number is larger than the current number then we return that otherwise we change it to the new ith number. So here we are we will do that comparison. So if nums dot i is greater than the nums which is at the current index of the closest number then we will change the index value to i otherwise we will uh, keep the index value as it is okay. Finally guys when this for loop uh, will be over we will just return nums at the index position this will actually hold our number with the closest integer value let's see if this works uh, for our example cases and it works for one example 
and hopefully it will get accepted for others as well and there you go now talking about the time complexity guys the time complexity of this solution is uh, order of n because we are going through a for loop in which we are uh, traversing all the n numbers in the array uh, space complexity is order of one guys because we have not used any extra space uh, to store anything here okay so that was the solution guys and I hope the solution was clear enough for you. Uh, if, you did, uh, if you did like this solution guys then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. Write down in the comment section below guys anything you want to say to me. All your suggestions are welcome. All your feedback is definitely welcome. If you have more solutions to this problem then you can post those as well. It will really help everyone else who is watching this video. And uh, in the end guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.